Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So today we're going to be talking about a very serious California gun control law that affects pretty much everybody in the state that has completely backfired. Not only has it backfired, doing exactly the opposite of what the state intended, but it looks like it's going to be overturned pretty soon anyway. So let's talk about it. This channel is proud to be sponsored by the USCCA, absolutely one of the best memberships you could have in your wallet. As a member, you get that self-defense liability insurance, which also grants you access to any lawyer of your choosing, or you could choose one from their network. If something happens and you have to defend yourself, you call the number on the back of that card, and they will get somebody out there to speak for you. It is absolutely priceless. Check out the link in the description box. Okay, so let's go and talk about what's going on here. So we're talking about California and California's ammunition background check system again. So you guys know that I recently made a couple videos about Rody V. Bonta, which is currently sitting in front of Judge Roger T. Benitez. Well, on Twitter, I follow one of the attorneys for the plaintiffs in that case. It's at Moros Costas. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But I'll link him down below. He puts up a lot of great information. So if you guys are looking for somebody to follow on Twitter, I, I definitely recommend it. But he made a post about California's background check system that I thought was kind of funny because I've received very similar messages from people who have sort of made California's law completely backfire. And let me explain to you how. So if you didn't already know, if you want to go get yourself a box of ammunition in California, you're going to have to undergo a background check. But there's two different levels of background checks that are conducted. A simple one, if you're already in the California, the CFAR system, it's a $1 fee. They do this background check and then you wait to be approved. And once you're approved, you can go ahead with your transaction. But there's another one where if you don't have a firearm that's already registered with the state, or maybe you do, but some of that information doesn't match with what's currently in California systems, then it's gonna be $19 per background check. So we're talking about maybe going to get something that costs, let's say 10 or $11, maybe $12. You gotta tack on another 20 bucks on top of that just to do that one background check. And that's for every single transaction. So if you go in one day, you get one box, transaction. The next day you go in, you get two boxes, another transaction. That starts adding up, right? So what people have does, done is instead of going through the CFAR system and updating your information in there, which can be a, a huge pain. A lot of the times the website doesn't work. I've heard nothing but horror stories. It's down all the time. But instead of going and entering all your information and going through that system, what people have started doing is in order for their information to match their current address, in order to get something that's registered in their name, people are actually going out and buying more firearms. So this California law that in my opinion was designed for the sole purpose of discouraging firearms ownership is doing the exact opposite. It's actually encouraging more ownership because people don't want to deal with all the fees that are associated with it. So let me just give you a quick scenario. So you live in your first house, right? And you buy something that ends up getting registered in California. It ends up, you know, in the, in the CFAR system. And so everything's good there. Now you move and you change addresses. You take what you originally bought with you to the new address. But now you go and you want to get something, you want to get a box of whatever, and the addresses don't match with what was registered. So now you got to pay that additional $19 to go through a different background check. People are saying, forget that. I'm just going to get something new with the new address. And now the addresses match and we'll just continue on at that. Obviously, it still sucks that there's a background check at all. It still sucks that you have to pay a fee. And it sucks that you have to have wait times. And in some cases, people are getting delayed. They're getting denied. I mean, people uh, haven't been able to get anything for a long period of time because, again, there's a problem with the system. The, the you know information doesn't match and there's false positives. All sorts of problems like that. That's why the lawsuit Rody v. Bonta even exists is to overturn it as being completely unconstitutional. But at the same time, uh, it's, it's having a completely different effect than what I think the California politicians were expecting. So people don't want to do the hassle, right? They don't want to go through all these steps. They don't want to go through all the trouble. They're, so they're expecting that people are just not going to want to jump through the hoops and they're just going to back away from it altogether. And who knows, maybe that has happened. I haven't heard of any instances of that, but in a lot of instances that I actually have heard of where people have emailed me and sent me stories of their denials and everything else, uh, people are just going out and getting something new to begin with. So uh, I'd love to hear stuff like that. Absolutely. And the fact that it's sitting in front of Benitez means that California might be seeing some relief in this case anyway. Now, Judge Benitez did give the uh, defense, so they gave California a month to come up with uh, 
you know, some type of historical declaration from an expert. So it looks like we might not hear anything for at least a month. But after that, I think that we're in for some pretty good news. And I personally think that even upon appeal, this is eventually going to get overturned altogether. But I wanted to kind of share that story with you because it, it is laughable when, you know, things just don't work out like California politicians expect them to work out. It's working exactly the opposite. So, uh, again, I want to share that with you. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. You guys have a great day.